So as you guys know, the poll to bring back 2007 RuneScape servers has been online for about a day now, and it's already received over 100,000 votes in that time, and there are still two weeks left for this poll, so just so you know, I have voted in this poll. Obviously, with something as game-changing as this, there has been a lot of discussion and debate about it, but for me, therein lies the issue. There is no debate to be had here, so just freaking stop it. Okay, let me elaborate on that. So here's a topic that I stumbled upon in the new old school RuneScape section of the forums. I have censored this original poster's name because I don't want him to get flamed or spammed or anything like that. He's just voicing his opinion. But the basic point of this thread is that he's concerned 2007 servers will detract from the development of the main Evolution of Combat servers. Please note that liking the evolution of combat is not the issue here, because I also like the DOC, believe it or not, but the issue is that this guy has gone out of his way to annoy people who do want the servers back, and this just needs to fucking stop. I've seen popular YouTubers do this as well, I'm not going to mention any names, and it makes me really sad to see that people are trying to go out of their way to stop such a huge movement like this that would benefit the community so much. I'll quickly dissect this thread because it pretty much embodies the type of people that this video is aimed at, and then I'll tell you why these sort of people need to be persuaded into voting. So this guy's first concern is that the reinstatement of the 2007 servers would detract resources away from the live game. And he goes on to post a quote from Mod MMG that says that resources would in fact initially be reallocated in order to get the 2007 servers up and running. The point he missed from the quote that he posted is that the main game would continue to receive regular updates as well as massive updates that have already been promised for 2013, such as the Grandmaster Quest that's coming soon. Okay, yes, technically speaking, this guy is right. But there is another quote that should be focused on, which is actually from the same article by Mod MMG. I'll just read it out to you. If this idea gathers sufficient support, then we will not need to take our current talent away from all the exciting updates to be implemented into the current version of the game, as we will be able to hire a new dedicated team to work specifically on this project. This is an entirely new team that they're talking about which would be hired in order to maintain these old servers. If enough support is given to this poll, then there won't be any needs to pull resources away from the main game. So by that logic, by not voting, you're only hurting your own cause. By not voting, you are pulling resources away from the main game for the 2007 servers, which is the main reason you're not voting in the first place. I feel like I should be able to stop there and that I've made my point already, but I'll continue to dissect this thread for the sceptics out there. So this guy goes on to respond to some of the main arguments that the supporters of this poll bring up. The first argument he responds to is that you're selfish if you don't vote. He responds by saying, considering my opinion wrong is more selfish than anything. If you can't deal with getting your own way all the time, you'll get nowhere in life. This argument is just not valid, I'm afraid, mainly because it's hypocritical. Here's a dictionary definition of the word selfish. Selfish, devoted to or caring only for oneself, concerned primarily with one's own interests, benefits, welfare, etc., regardless of others. So with this definition in mind, let's refer back to this quote that this guy provides. So even though this update will be for the benefit of thousands of other players, this guy doesn't want to give up any of Jagextra's resources for this update. But it could also be argued, on the other hand, that people who want the 2007 servers are only concerned about the 2007 servers and are not concerned for the main EOC servers, which would actually be the definition of selfish. I could end the argument there by saying that both sides are selfish, therefore making this whole point invalid altogether. But it's the fact that Jagex said that development for the main servers would not stop that makes the non-voters more selfish. If bringing back 2007 servers meant that EOC servers would cease to exist, 
then yeah, sure, that would make the voters pretty selfish. But that just is not the case, and that's what makes this whole point invalid. Another point this guy makes is that he doesn't want to see all the EOC haters that post random abuse all the time to come back to the game. Here's a quick little news flash for you. They won't be playing the game because they'll have the option to play the game that they've been begging for. You won't have to worry about these people coming into the EOC and spamming you with stuff like 2007's better man or this evolution of crap. Just think about it for a minute and yeah, if people do still, after 2007's been implemented, still continue to go into the evolution of combat and say, oh, EOC sucks, then yeah, those people are idiots, but that's not the majority of the player base. Another point which was made by another person as a response to the original post, again, names are censored to prevent these people from being spammed, uh, he says that he doesn't want his membership money funding an update which he doesn't want if this poll reaches 500,000 or more votes. What he fails to realise is that there are a lot of people who would come back to the game who do not currently play. An increase in the player base would mean an increase in the number of memberships being bought, so hence the update will be entirely funded by people who only want this update. If enough people come back to the game because of this update, then it would be likely that their money would also, in fact, fund the main servers as well. Maybe you should have thought about that, and you would probably want that, right? If you're still not wanting to vote, then think of it like this. The servers are already going to happen, because the 50,000 vote mark has been reached. So at this point, the less people that vote, the more the main game will be affected, as more resources will have to be pulled away from it. This is going to happen, so all you can do now is make sure that it happens without affecting the game that you like.